My name is Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about the string methods and we discussed about three string methods. That is the concat, the format, and the index of. Today, we are also going to continue with the string methods, but we are going to take on to other three. We are going to discuss about the get chore, is empty and the land and in that particular note we are going to look at each one of them what is their definition their syntax and implementation so let us start uh, basically with uh, what we call uh, today the get chore so actually uh, what is actually a get chore uh, uh, the definition of uh, the get chore method uh, which is an inbuilt method it is a method that copy content uh, of a string to a specified character uh, array. So actually, this particular one copies content to specified character uh, actually array. So basically, this is what actually we call up uh, the get uh, char. And basically, what is the syntax? Uh, basically, the syntax of a get char uh, actually is a very simple one. Uh, it is whereby you have uh, a specifier called public and then uh, void, meaning it's going to return nothing. And uh, then we are supposed to have the method called, called get chars. And that particular method, what does it take? It takes uh, actually integers. So it takes up an int. Uh, what int the source beginning index so we have got uh, our source beginning index and another int which is called an int our source end so this will be our source end index and also it takes up the character destination so it takes up the character the, the array character destination and also int uh, the character beginning destination. So it takes also an int character array beginning destination. So basically, that will be the syntax. So let's uh, now uh, go uh, into Eclipse and see actually uh, how we can implement up the same. So here we are in Eclipse, basically, we can declare up a string call. So here we'll have up a string, a string call, let's say message. And that particular string, uh, we are using up uh, one of the methods of declaring a string by using up the new word. And then we're putting up string. And uh, this particular string, I can put up NC anything into that particular string. And here I say, uh, I am using uh, Kodari. So basically uh, that is uh, my string. I'm just using up Kodari. Mm, they say maybe Kodari Academy, the whole thing. Academy. So that is my string. Basically this is my string. And then I want to terminate that particular string. Now here I want also to declare uh, an array of characters. So I'll have char array and then I'll call it a message msg and uh, also I'll use up the new keyword so the new keyword uh, uh, equal to new new what uh, it is equal to new character sure and actually I give it up the value and I give it up the size uh, it's going to hold uh, 10 so basically that's what I've done and I've terminated that particular one and then basically I just want uh, now to access the method, uh, so I say here message dot, what am I getting up? Get char, so it's get chars, so method get chars. So here we have got the first argument or the zero argument, is the argument whereby uh, you have to put up an integer, an integer uh, that is actually talking about uh, the uh, the source of the beginning index so the source of the beginning index let's take for example we want hodari so that will be 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we are going to start up uh, uh, at the beginning index 11. Then the second part, uh, we are talking about the source end index. So if you want the word uh, uh, Hodari, so from 11, so uh, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So actually we are putting up 17. So we'll get up uh, the word Hodari. So here we'll put up 17. And then where do we want to put it? We want to put it up uh, in the message. In the message, uh, we are told that according to this particular formula, we are talking about the car or the char uh, destination. So the char destination, uh, it is actually, uh, it is actually uh, a mess. So we want that, uh, the message. And then we are talking about the end. Uh, the end will be uh, actually at until the end the end will be our index zero so because index zero it is the first one so to the first which is index zero so basically that is what we have done so basically we can uh, actually print so I'll say system actually uh, dot uh, out dot print ln and what I want to print is actually msg that is the message so if I print this, it's supposed only to give me the word Hodari alone. So let me let me run this particular program, and actually it gives only uh, the word Hodari. So let us move to the next uh, part of it. Now is empty. So let us look at the second part. Uh, what is it uh, all about? The is empty. So when we are talking about the is empty. Basically, what are we talking about? It is actually also a string method that checks if the string is empty and return true if it is empty. Otherwise, it returns false. So basically, uh, here we are saying that uh, the is empty. It is actually uh, what you call a string method that will check if the string is empty and return true if it is empty otherwise if it is not empty it will return false so basically uh, that is uh, what we are talking about that particular string so let us see uh, what is the uh, what is the syntax syntax is very simple uh, uh, formal specifier public and then we have data type boolean and then is empty is empty does not take any parameter inside uh, so let us uh, see an example of is empty when uh, we go to our Eclipse so basically we can actually take up all this code out and uh, put up maybe a string code maybe call string 1 s1 and uh, assign it uh, no string at all so it is an empty string and also we can have our s2 our uh, another string called s2 and this particular string now we can assign uh, some string for example hodari so hodari so now we can use our method to look at if this particular string is empty or not empty so very simple I say just system dot out dot print ln and uh, what I want to print inside here I want to print s1 I want to print basically my s1 and then I say dot is empty so is empty that's it. I want to see that string one is it empty, and also I want to print up the second one, which be system dot out dot print ln and uh, dot print sorry print ln, and what I want to do is I want to print s2, and I want to say my s2 is empty also again. <coughs> So um, you could see now 
basically here my s1 actually is empty and m2 it's not empty so this basically should give me true and this should give me false so let me run this particular program when you run it's true that string one is empty it is true and string two is not empty it is false so let us go to the third part of it the length so when we're talking about uh, the length so on to the length basically what are we talking about it is uh, another one uh, uh, and uh, it is another string method and the empty string method actually uh, it returns uh, what you call count it returns a count of the of the character in a given string so this one uh, it is a string method that returns count of character of a given string of a given string so basically that is what it's supposed to do and uh, basically also when you come to syntax it's a very simple syntax so it's the word public int and uh, we have our length int length and doesn't take up anything so uh, in its actually uh, in, 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 into its parameters so let us go here and see how we can do it so we can have uh, uh, our uh, our string and leave it uh, the way it is maybe let's have uh, uh, our string here so let us take out this and write up another code so basically here you can have also a string s1 and we can assign it uh, some string so maybe hodari academy so this particular string we want to see the length of this particular string and basically what do we do well actually we can say uh, uh, basically size or int size so we'll have here int size int size equals to we are assigning it to s1 dot length so here we are looking at the length the length of s1 and then basically just print size so we have system dot uh, out dot print ln and what we want to print we are printing up our size so here we are printing up our size we want to see what is actually the size uh, of this particular string so this is one two three four five six uh seven uh eight so this is uh six uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we should actually return up uh, 14 for hours so let's run it and actually returns actually 14 so that's given us the length of this particular string and this length includes actually uh, the space here which is given so that one actually makes the end of this particular session until on to our next session whereby we are going to discuss other methods and this will be two uppercase two lowercase and the trim method those three methods we are going to discuss however don't forget to subscribe onto our next session until now i say bye thank you very much Thank you.